Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Way Slam reviewer, and I'm here to review Our Flag Means Death. And this is a new action, adventure, biography, comedy, history series from HBO Max from creator Taika Waititi, and this focuses on the gentleman pirate, Steed Bonnet. And this is a true story. And it's fascinating that this is a true story, and my fiance Jess is super into all kinds of crazy weird history and stuff, and I've been watching these videos about this for a while, and then this gets turned into a big show like this, and you have at the center this man who is a wealthy landowner who's living a quiet life with his wife and his kids, and he's not really happy or fulfilled, so he goes out and becomes a pirate. And he's too nice, too gentlemanly, and at first his crew wants to mutiny because they don't trust him. And over the time, you get this very interesting dynamic. And also, coming in within the first couple episodes is Blackbeard himself, played by Taika Waititi. And you have Blackbeard in this strange place in his career of like, what do you do at this point? You're not a young man anymore. What's fulfilling you? What's driving you? And over the course of this series, this first season, you see this interesting, dynamic, complex, emotional, and very poignant connection growing between Steed and Blackbeard. And you have ha Hands, who is his right-hand man, who's trying to get in between all of this, and throw in the Spanish who get in the way, especially the British who get in the way. And there's a lot of conflict here. And... What I love about this is it has that Taika Waititi creativeness, that sense of humor, but deep emotional impact as well. This doesn't shy away from being serious at times and feeling very emotional and grounded at times. And you have Nacho Vigilado, who had done the film Colossal, directing three episodes, Bert and Birdie, who did the Hawkeye series, directing some episodes. Taika Waititi himself directing some episodes. There's a lot of spark and personality. It has a fresh, fun look to it. It balances its special effects and sets in a campy kind of way. Because, like, you can tell there's sets at times and stuff like that. But it's a fun kind of way. And there's a lot of personality to it. But really at the center of the series, you have Rhys Darby, who's finally getting a place to shine as a lead, and he kills it in this. He is so much personality, you understand him right off the bat, you see where Steed is coming from, and Darby adds so many layers to his character in this series, and Taika Waititi's Blackbeard is extremely complex, hard to read, What's his real motivations, expectations, and they have wonderful chemistry together as their relationship evolves over the course of this first season. And you have a very supportive and inclusive crew in this show as well, with a wide range of different people from Joel Fry, Samson Kayo, Nathan Fode, Matthew Mayer, uh, Christian Nairt, who aka is Hodor. You have Samba Shoot. Um, Ewan Bremner, love him in this series. He is so much fun. You have Con O'Neill who plays Izzy Hands, and the, just the supporting cast here and this crew. They're so much fun. They all have their own personalities. They all bring something to the table, and how they play off of each other, and the inclusion that they have is inspiring. And this series is shocking in the way that it deals with all different kinds of relationships and you have surprising supporting roles from some pretty famous actors from you have Roy Keener who plays a couple of twin admirals you have Leslie Jones popping up Fred Armisen and Nick Kroll is in one episode and Kristen Shaw and you have Will F I not you have um Will Arnett, and all of these actors are killing it in this series in these really fun supporting roles. This show sees an evolution of who Steed Bonnet is. There's a great arc for him. There's a great arc for Blackbeard. And you just see throughout this, there's shocking depth and emotion to everything that's going on in this series, what's driving these characters and their dynamics with each other. This is fun, 
it's emotional, it's just a ball. And it's such a crazy idiosyncratic show that's hitting on my frequency and I absolutely love it. But those are my thoughts on Our Flag Means Death. Let me know what you think and let's talk some TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.